Hey, what's up, Kiwi Voice fam? Thanks for taking the time to tune in. My name is Lucas Lawmans. Today, 22nd of January 2022, it's a Saturday, is the Worldwide Rally for Freedom Day. So it's a coordinated effort across the world uh, to get together protests, stands, marches for freedom against all of the uh, mandates and restrictions and COVID measures that are occurring and impacting people's lives in a negative way around the world, obviously to bring attention to the potential future of what these restrictions may bring. I'm going to take the the camera down to the march on Papua Nui Road, try and get some coverage of it for you, get you an idea of the scale, the number of people that are involved, see what it's all, all about. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. This is run by the Freedom and Rights Coalition. It has been reported on multiple times in the media. It'll be interesting to see once we leave the march uh, whether the mainstream media is going to be covering it at all. There are marches across New Zealand, Auckland, Wellington, today here in Christchurch, New Plymouth, Tauranga, Nelson, or Tauranga. And after all of the negative publicity that these protests and these march have received in New Zealand's mainstream media, it'll be interesting to see the reaction with a coordinated effort such as this one, whether they'll pay any creed to it whatsoever. But at any rate, let's grab the camera, let's get out there, we'll go and see what's going on. I'm on Papua Nui Road in Christchurch, and you'll see we've got this going on, you can probably hear it. Here comes the march. Freedom and Rights Coalition are marching today as part of the Worldwide March for Freedom. It's happening in centres all over New Zealand and also all of the world, over the world at the same time. Let's, let's take a look at these guys as they get closer. Flip this round to 16 by 9. Well done, guys. Well done. I'm going to get amongst it. Here we go, New Zealand. We march on down Papua New Road with the Freedom of Rights Coalition Worldwide Freedom Day March. We'll try and get here a shots of uh, the size of what's going on here. So I'm near the front. And that's us down the back. Stretches for hundreds and hundreds of meters. So re really good turnout, really noisy turnout as usual as you can tell. Good vibes. Keep it up Christchurch. So we've gone all the way down Victoria Street coming up to that first set of lights by the clock tower. Um, trying to get you a bit of an idea of the size of this thing. Fun. They've done it a little bit different today with uh, music on the truck. Yeah. Usual good vibes, usual peaceful vibes. Just a lot of people trying to make noise. But what we think is super important today. Listen to that. Usual mix as well, bit of everyone, bunch of kids here seeing as the focus on this particular march is around uh, the uh, vaccination program for children, 5 to 11 year olds. But we've got the usual smattering of uh, all sorts of professionals, everyday Kiwis, families, all socioeconomic backgrounds. It's the usual stuff fam. And I think the uh, 
for you to get another well organised uh, stand. As we head into town, back to the square. Bikers supporting us over on the right. And the left. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful weather. She's another cracker. Surely they've got to take notice of this shit. Surely. So right back at the square, we're going to take a look at uh, as as the crowd comes in, what the state of it is. Let's try and give you a bit more perception. Let's check this out. So we've already got this many people coming in here, and this is what we've got coming.
and maybe here the atmosphere today is electric this will be the loudest one obviously you can make a guesstimate of the numbers yourself based on the last six or seven minutes of footage such positive positive vibes here in Christchurch Freedom Rights Coalition worldwide march for freedom 22nd of January at 22 here in Christchurch Absolutely loving it. Just, li just listen to it. Let's go for a wander through, see what else we can see in the middle. It's not stopping, fam. This is crazy. Thousands here. Hey, what's up, fam? So, I've just uh, gotten back from the march. As I was walking back, it's about a 20 minute walk, half an hour walk from the city or from Kremna Square back to here. I did check out the mainstream media sites, News Hub, Stuff, and NZ Herald, and there were a couple of lines on a live blog on News Hub. Uh, obviously not super positive, but barely any coverage whatsoever, and that is it. So surprise, surprise, no coverage. So hopefully you've enjoyed um, a bit of a, a quick look at it from my perspective. Take a minute to think about it, what drives someone to the point where they're actually going to go and disrupt traffic. Uh, and walk, march, protest, you know, this is not done lightly. For every person that's out there, you would have to assume there are a number that are thinking about it and are too scared, don't know what to expect. What I can assure you from being in the middle of the crowd of these is that it is very peaceful. Uh, it's a great mix of people from all walks of life who just want things to go back to normal, have had enough of the crazy mandates and rules and law changes that this government continues to force through and put into place. So if you really are concerned about it, check it out. Join the channel please, by all means, hit subscribe if you haven't already. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay free, and we'll see you real soon.